This is Dylan. He brought in a spectacular car. Tell me about this piece. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Well, 1967 GTO. Okay. I've had it for about eight years now. And uh, it's been a great car for us. A lot of fun for cruising at PCH. It's, yeah. it's definitely the Malibu ride. Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. So in, in 30 seconds, give me your best car story. My best car story with the GTO? Um, it doesn't have to be with the GTO unless you did something really <laughs> crazy with something else. Well, okay, I'd say uh, it's 1989. I'm in my Ford Mustang on PCH, coming home, and uh, buddy's behind me. We're doing maybe 110, 120. I look out over the ocean, I see a helicopter. I think to myself, eh, that's no big deal. He's out over the ocean. We continue on home. All of a sudden, I'm coming up my street, and the entire street lights up. And I look in my rearview mirror, and I see my buddy behind me, and I think, his, his, high, his high beams are incredible. This is crazy. How's the whole street lighting up? <laughs> sure enough, I look through the uh, sunroof, yep. and there's a helicopter. Yep. Cut our headlights, went down in our driveway, he circled around for a little bit and took off. So we definitely got lucky on Woo! that one. Yeah. All right. So uh, <laughs> words of the wise. Yes. If you are going to do that, make sure there's no helicopters around. Definitely. No, <laughs> no doubt. All right. McKenna here is a huge car girl. Uh, she brought in some cool cars too, right? With your dad, basically. But what is your favorite car today? Here? Yeah, this entire show. Um, you can see your dad's car of this. Okay, what's your second favorite car? Um, I think the blue one over The crazy, the crazy doom buggy looking thing? Yeah, that's a good choice. All right, nicely done. Oh yeah, okay, coffee. Co coffee's the juice of the day. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee is a juicy. This is Mike. He's got uh, an amazing Ford truck. And uh, tell me a little bit about this. Well, it's a, a 1947 Ford, one ton panel. And I've been told uh, there's not another one like it in the world. There uh, isn't. And it's right here. It's right here. And I found it in Malibu, kind of uh, by in this, accident. In this parking lot. Right in this parking lot. <laughs> and I, I want to say 10 years ago, but it could be uh, maybe 12. So you're just driving by and it was just it was sitting here? You just found uh, it? Uh, I, I went into the tent. Okay. They, they had a hospitality tent. Okay. And I had a I had a cocktail, and I was looking outside, and I saw this beautiful uh, reddish uh, burgundy panel truck, and I said, I've always wanted a panel truck. That's awesome. And uh, I went out, and the guy was there, and I said, geez, are these ever for sale? And he goes, well, this one absolutely is for sale. And it's he, your lucky day. And he goes, and it's getting towards the end of the day, so when you want to talk, let me know. Two weeks later, we met at at uh, Neptune's Net. And he handed me the title and the truck, and I handed him a cashier's check, and the rest is history. <laughs> and you loved it so much, you moved to Malibu. I did. All right, we're hanging out with Sean. This is Sean Schawecker, a very good friend of a very good friend because your dad is a longtime car guy. Absolutely. And Sean brought in a absolutely ridiculous vehicle. I don't even know what to call this. It's called a PT5 buggy. A PT5 buggy. Uh, you guys, um, I'm going to show you some fantastic shots of it, but we're going to go up north on PCH and uh, take some photos for the Surfside News. But um, let's just go have some fun. Sounds great. All right. This is crazy. Widow <laughs> uh, uh, HD25, that brand new five speed.
could have built a badass hot rod, but we like going to the desert. Yep. We like it. Ha we like having fun with the family. Yeah. And this car, I can take it to a car show. Yeah. Next weekend, go to Akatia Well, do 70 miles an hour over three foot whoops. Take it home, clean it. Next, next weekend, take it to another car show with a uh, 57 Chevy or any type of classic car. I don't think it'd be good over those woods. <laughs> This is an amazing car. Thank you very much. And uh, he spent the last three years putting this thing together, a couple hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, Playtech uh, Racing in Anaheim, California. Right. He was a custom builder on the whole project. Fantastic. Best car story? Best car story in 30 seconds flat. Okay, would be the 1930 Model A that uh, my dad, Chuck Shower owns. It is a complete one-off car. There's nothing else like it in the world. Um, his, his name's Rodriguez. <laughs> and uh, if you talk to any car guy, oh yeah, absolutely hands down. Yeah. And you say Rodriguez, they know the car. You guys want to see that car? I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna show you that car. That was pretty fun hanging out with Sean Shawwecker and his wife Bridget. Uh, that was a really amazing ride, uh, and also hanging out at Malibu Cars and Coffee. Another Sunday of cool cars. Don't know what Kathy's up to, so I'm gonna head back to the home and. Um, I think she took the dogs to the beach, but we'll find out. This is the last day with the 2015 Chevy Spark. Uh, this car has been an absolute champ. Uh, I highly recommend it for if you're looking for an electric vehicle. Uh, it gets an 82 mile charge. Uh, it's a very solid car and uh, it because it's got 400 foot-pounds of torque, it, it, it can really launch well, get you around, around town. Uh, it's just nice to have an electric car. I have magically picked up a passenger. We're gonna head up to Latigo and we're gonna plop a squat right on the beach um, and just hang out for the majority of the day. is out here but the water is unbelievable it's fantastic it's like bath water not it goes one of the best beaches
it's uh, about it for vlog 106 because uh, it's Sunday and the beaches were so filled with people. Um, we had to come home. We had to come home. <laughs> we still had fun. Yeah, it was still cool. And there's not really anything else that we want to do today, so I think that's where we're going to wrap it up. We did a lot today, though. What are we having for dinner? Tofurky. Tofurky. No, don't, don't say anything. It's really good. Yeah.